Morning there guys. Today we're gonna to do another kind of a product review slash what's in the bag. This is actually my exact setup that I've been using for a while. I'm so in love with this rod, it is a little bit ridiculous. It has taken the place, I can't actually say it's taken the place. I, I, I slept with it in my bed for the first night, so, so that kind of shows you how much it means. Anyway, this setup that I'm talking about here is very specific to sort of our north coast. Um, with all the snook that are coming out at the moment, I'm sure everyone's seen all the posts on, on Facebook. This is a combo that will actually get you that distance to the snook. A lot of people think you need to go 12 foot 6, even 11 foot 6 rods. This is a 10 foot rod. It will get you that 120 meters. I know because I do get that 120 meters with it. The rod I'm talking about here is the Eclipse Light. It is a light tackle stick up to about 2 ounce. It's for that fishing a bit more finesse, um, but I mean I catch it's, it's my shared little stick at the moment, but I've done snook, kingies, uh, scratch with this, I mean you catch bronze bream with it. I've hooked an eagle ray with it, didn't go so well. Um, the eagle ray is still swimming, didn't, I didn't land it, but it was about 60 kilos, so yeah. The reel that's paired on this is uh, one of our higher end little spinning reels. I wouldn't call it a budget, I'd call it an entry level setup this. Everything is highly affordable, you're not having to spend five, six grand on a combo. This stuff is a hell of a lot less than that. Pop into any of our stores or any of the stores that stock any of the Kingfisher stuff, all of this is wholesale, so you can get it from any of your closest stores and you'll be surprised how cheap all of this is. The reel I'm talking about is the Ninja. This specifically is the 4000. I find it holds more than enough line. That's the Ninja 4000 there. So it's got everything you need in a little spinning reel. Obviously retails for nice and cheap. The best thing about this as well is you get a spare spool with it. So with us nowadays, often what we're doing is we're spooling two different kinds of braids on. So for example, with this, I've got 10 pound J on my one, and I've got 15 pound J on my other spool. So I can alternate between those two, depending on where I'm fishing. If there are a lot of shad around, big crowds, things like that, I often go to the 15, just to give myself, in case I get tangled with someone, a little bit more diameter, so I won't get uh, burnt off. Going to the braid, 10 pound J braid, eight strand. Now this reel takes a hell of a lot of this. We normally just put mono on the back and put this on top, because you're not really gonna use more than 300 meters, in all honesty. You're not running into your backing often. If you do, you can put um, maybe one of the 10 pound, the 10 pound uh, four strand on the back, or you can put two of these spools on there very, very comfortably. That's 300 meters. Now that is insanely thin, that braid. Casts very well, the knot strength is phenomenal, and the breaking strain that we've had on that, we've tested it, breaks at 10 kilos. That's over 20 pound. So it's a 10, 10 pound braid, but it's breaking well above that. I mean, double the breaking strain. Um, so that's more than enough for, for your pulling power. Now onto that, so we're putting that on there. We then do a little fluorocarbon leader. I used to only use normal nylon, so a hell of a lot cheaper. But big thing about this, not just your invisibility underwater, so the refraction index is so similar to water. The thing with this is that you've got a high abrasion line. Often with these, you have them in between the rocks, you have your lure getting rubbed on the sand. This stuff doesn't get burnt off. You can use it multiple times, even when it starts giving a little bit of a fray, a little bit of a scuff, it's still 100% good to go. To that, we, there are two different options. What we like to do with the lures, often when you're spinning, is you're quick changing all the time. So obviously the best thing for that is a quick change clip. Now the best of the lot is this little guy here, the little fast hatch. He's so simple to use to clip on and off and they're very, very strong. Also the bigger loop in the front allows the lure a lot of movement. That's the one method. My preferred method is the combo over here. So now what you're gonna use is a power swivel on this side here, which they are very strong for their size, and then a split ring. You have your braid, you've seen all these knots before. Your mainline braid goes to a palomar knot to a single swivel. Then you're gonna have a length of your fluorocarbon. I normally do about 80 centimeters to a meter. Then I do another swivel and a split ring. Now what that allows me to do is, with the use of these, which are split ring pliers, they've got the little hooky in the front. They're all different makes, this is the mustard one. Very affordable, um, obviously available at all your shops. Very comfortable, small, fits in the bag nicely. That you then can clip onto any lure. You just put the split ring on the front and you're good to go. It's a little bit longer than a little clip, but it's, it's a lot stronger and it's a method I've been using for quite a long time now. It just makes it easier, easier for me and it, it saves on having, as opposed to having split rings and swivels on all your lures, because that's the other option is then have it then you tie on. 
So, speaking of which, let's get to the lures. This is a small little selection just of lures that I found very effective for your foster game fish. So your kingies and your snook mainly. Obviously they will work for shad. These are mainly gonna be your, your snook lures. Now, the king of the king, yeah? is the anchovy spoon. On this setup, these are the two I'd use, the 25 and the 35. They're nice and cheap. They swim very, very well at high speed. And that, that scaling pattern is so realistic, it is actually a bit ridiculous. To that, we've also got the little gold shiner. Now, when the fish are feeding heavily on stuff like mozzies and things like that, this little 35 gram shiner is deadly. Um, that little gold glint comes up, especially near your river mouth and things like that, where you've got a little bit of discolored water. Often the gold shines much better than your, your silver. A little forgotten gem is this little guy here. This is the Snook Spin 30 gram. Now, you can actually retrieve him a little bit slower than some other spoons. And because of his, the shape that he's got, he actually wobbles like this and that little side flicks and gives you that shine all the time. That spoon is phenomenally good and it's been one of those that's sort of gone under the radar and disappeared, which is really sad to see, so go buy them. They also work very well offshore, just by the way. And then, last but not least, we got our little Kingfisher cutback. Now, the nice thing about them, because of all the flat sides, you can stick your holographic tapes and things onto this. You can make the spoon any color you want. The tapes do peel off, um, they're not an eternal solution, but you can put a bit of tape on there, put a tape on the front there, and you've got a much shinier spoon, or if the spoon gets scuffed or anything like that, you can put those on. I do recommend changing all the hooks on these to singles. They just hold a lot better in the fish, and they don't throw the hooks as much. But yeah, that's that little guy there as well. Obviously, with all of this stuff, you need to keep it in some place. Kingfisher does a whole range of these things. They're called see-through buddies. Now, obviously, a nice little play on words there, see-through, being a clear plastic container. Now, this is the best of the lot, in my opinion. He is a double-sided unit. Clips, like that. And very unique little inserts. They're not uh, completely rounded like that. They've got a little keel in the middle. Obviously, he's not going to fit that little thing on there. That's a lot deeper than you think, and it maximizes the space, so you're not having this giant, thick container. It's a very, very thin, slimline unit, and he fits so nicely in your box. Now, you can also see everything that's in here. Um, he holds a hell of a lot of lures and you can put your smaller things on the side and then obviously the bigger lures in the middle and it will take one of my favorite lures which is the medium sized rattler with a short bib which is deadly for shad but we'll get on that in a different video. So to all of that, one of the most important bits of kit, polarized sunglasses. Now I cannot stress this enough, these things especially when you're spinning, one very important for finding the right area, two for sun protection and three for eye protection. It sounds like that's the same thing. When you're spinning, you have a fish on, you bring it to the side on the rocks or on the beach, the lure comes out, we've had this for many guys, and the, the stretch that you have in that little bit in the front there and the pressure you've got on the fish, the lure pops out, it shoots back at you. Now you're not pulling your rod there or there, you're pulling it right here. So the lure, when it comes loose, it's coming straight at you. And these can protect something from going straight into your eye, which would be a terrible loss. Um, you only have two of them, so look after them. That also brings us on to the next point, which is sun protection for your eyes. Now, a lot of the harmful rays from the sun, UVAs and Bs, are very bad for your eyes. They, they, they're not good. Some, uh, you obviously want your eyes exposed to some of it, just for, um, for production of vitamin, vitamins B and things like that. But you want to keep most of that UV light out of your eyes uh, for longevity. You don't want to be blind by the time you're 30. These little Snowy pair, they're light, they're cheap, they're quick to pop in the bag. If, they, if you do lose them, it's not a, a 3,000 rand pair of Makos or so. So it's not too much of a loss. We'd never want to think that way, but unfortunately it's one of the things you have to put into perspective. Other thing is polarized sunglasses cut that glare off of the water. Now, Snook in particular, but a lot of game fish, love rips. So by your river mouth, you get a rip that goes out and that concentrates your bait fish. Now the bait fish are getting concentrated because they're either against that rip or they're getting flushed out of the river and then they're trying to get back in so they're swimming on that or in that rip the whole time. That's the area you're going to want to go spinning in. It's the one a spot you're going to want to throw all these little spoons on the edges of those rips in the rip itself and that's where you're going to get your snook. So the polarized sunglasses allow you to be able to see that rip a little bit better. Guys remember like and subscribe. Um, very easy simple clicks. There's no payment, no nothing. You can click the bell icon there at the bottom. That allows the notifications to come straight to your feed. 
and obviously to the email address or whatever you have linked to your YouTube. That then helps you keep up to date with all of these videos that we do, helps us get out to you, helps you get out to us. Please comment down below anything you want to know, any stuff like that. Otherwise get a hold of anyone at your local tackle branch. Any of the items that have here are wholesale by Kingfisher, so they will be stocked at any proper tackle shop. Thanks guys, let's get out and get some spinning. Cheers, bye.